Here we have our delicious mocha chocolate cashew mousse with our fresh raspberries and crispy nut topping. And this is a great dessert for any party. It's gluten free, dairy free, processed sugar free, and coffee free as well if you choose to use it with the coffee like beverage dandy blend. For our um, our nut crunch on top. We've got some pecans, some walnuts, I've got cinnamon, shredded unsweetened coconut, and we're using some safflower oil, a maple syrup, and some brown rice syrup. So this dish is actually going to be processed sugar-free, uh, dairy-free, and gluten-free. So by sugar-free, I mean no processed sugars. We are going to be using brown rice syrup and maple syrup as our, as our main sweeteners. So over here in the skillet, I have our safflower oil and our sweetener. So I have a 50-50 mix of maple syrup and brown rice syrup. So what you want to do is you get this into the pan and you just give it a little mix and turn up the heat. And what you really want is to get the ingredients heated and they start to foam. So once they foam, they start to foam, you know it's ready to go. So just let that, once it's mixed, you can just sort of let it sit. Just keep an eye on it because you don't want it to boil over. So in a bowl here, I have our dry ingredients. So I have our pecans, walnuts, shredded coconut, and our cinnamon. And you just give it a little toss to get started. So while you're waiting for this to start bubbling, you can prep a baking sheet and I like to line it with parchment paper so it's easy cleanup. Alright, so once it starts foaming, so you can see it's nice and bubbly, we're just going to add our dry ingredients and you just mix it all together. Bring it back. So you just want to get everything kind of coated with that nice sweet gooey foam. And then you just turn it out onto your parchment lined pan. And then just kind of smush it around as best you can. And once you pop it in the oven, it's just going to melt itself out and sort of spread itself out a little bit more, but you just want to give it a little, little help there. I'm just going to pop that into the oven. So it should only take about 10-15 minutes in the oven, so you want to keep your eye on it. I do not keep a timer in my household, so I often burn things, but it's best to set a timer. So for this base, we're going to be using the soaked, pre-soaked cashews. We're going to have coconut cream or coconut milk. We have some maple syrup, some brown rice syrup, and some coffee-like beverage. Now this is a dandelion coffee substitute, so it's a mixture of roasted barley, um, dandelion, dandelion, um, but there's a wide variety of different uh, coffee substitutes you can use. And if you don't mind having caffeine, you can use straight up coffee if you like, um, or decaf coffee, but I find this gives it a nice flavor and you just know that it's a little bit of a healthier alternative. Um, so for this, we're actually going to be adding a bit of hot water to, di to uh, dissolve it so that um, it blends smoothly into the mixture. Also, we're going to be using um, some unsweetened chocolate bricks. So by using the unsweetened, we're not adding any extra sugars that we don't need in there or that we don't want. So we don't want any processed sugars and that's why we're using the brown rice syrup and the maple syrup. So we'll start by chopping this and then getting that melted on a double boiler. So we have a pot of water that's just about boiling and then we're going to use a glass bowl on top to melt our chocolate. So just a rough chop is good. And then we'll put it into double boiler. Hot 
water to the coffee like beverage to dilute it or dissolve it. A little so we're going to let that cool so that we don't have warm mousse. So in here we have our soaked cashews, coconut cream, our coffee like beverage, the melted chocolate, and the vanilla extract along with our brown rice syrup and maple syrup. We're going to start blending that. And it is a nice golden color, so I'm going to take it out of, it's a nice golden color, so I'm going to take it out of the oven. You can see it's all melted down there. And once that cools, it's going to be crispy and we can crumble it on top of the mousse. I'm going to continue blending our mousse. I'm just going to scrape the sides to help it blend a little bit better. So now we're taking out the glass where we're going to use for our, our dessert. Um, you can use anything really um, that you like, but I like to put them in a nice little glass so you can see through and they look kind of fancy. So you see that our crisp now is nice and stiff. So this is what you want. You want it to be nice and stiff. Um, and then you're going to just start to break up the pieces. So then you get to decorate your lovely mousses. So here we have the crisp. You can choose whichever pieces you like best. And just sort of lay them on top, or you can break them up into smaller bits and crumble them up. Or feel free to decorate them with anything you desire. So I have some fresh raspberries, and you can just decorate them in there on your own, or however you like. And there you have it, some delicious mocha chocolate cashew mousse with raspberries and a crispy nut topping. So to enjoy this recipe at home, you can find all the measurements and directions on my website. That's really good.